Hello everyone. In this video, we'll show you how we have automated WhatsApp using RPA tool. So here's the use case. A supplier company wants to automate the process of sharing quotation requests for specific products with their vendors through WhatsApp and then collect their responses uh, in an Excel file. So for this case, we have created a couple of databases. The first database, we have named it as RFQ and vendor code. So in this database, uh, we'll have product information list with a standard query to be broadcasted to uh, vendors through WhatsApp. And also this database will capture the message sending timing as well as uh, it will include the list of all the vendors that are added to this broadcast list. So let me just show you how, what, how we have created this Excel file. So as you can see in this excel file we have got uh, columns the first one is product name quantity quotation request so this quotation request column will have the rfq message to be broadcasted to the vendors and then we have a pre-created broadcast list for whatsapp so we have added all the vendors uh, to this broadcast list and so when we send a message uh, through this broadcast li list all the vendors will receive the message at one time. It's like group chat. However, unlike group chat, a contact added to this broadcast list will not know the existence of other, broad, uh, other contacts added to the list. And also we have this uh, field which will capture the sending time of the message. So right now we have got uh, an old data here. So let me just clear the data. So now this field is empty. Okay, now coming to the uh, other database that we have created, which is RFQ and vendor code with vendor response. This will be the final report wherein uh, after collecting the vendor responses, it will have the list of all the vendors along with the responses that we have collected from WhatsApp. So here is the Excel file. So these are all data. So let me just clear those out. So as you can see now this file is completely blank. Okay, so here's the brief about what the bot is going to do. So on clicking the run button, uh, the bot will give us a message box and it will ask for if we want to uh, uh, start the process by sending a fresh or new message and then collect responses from the vendors or we want to start looking for vendor responses uh, with respect to a previously sent message this message we could have sent the previous day or previous to that day so let's begin now i am clicking on the run so here's the message box so for, for this demonstration, I'll say I want to start the process from sending a new message. So I'm looking for the broadcast list. So now the bot is uh, sending the message and the message has been sent.
All right. So now the bot is opening the WhatsApp web application to look for vendor responses. So as you can see, we have not received any response from this vendor for the message uh, that we have just sent. And also for this vendor, we have not received any response and neither from this vendor. Alright, so now the bot is waiting for two minutes to repeat the activity of looking for responses from the vendors. So currently we have given a timing of two minutes in between to repeat this activity. However, uh, as per your requirement, you can uh, ex extend the timing like about uh, 30, 40 minutes or whatever is required. And so, and also we can... Uh, uh, program stating that we want to uh, the bot to keep on uh, repeating this activity for around uh, 30 to 40 times that is as per your needs so meanwhile let us look what the final report says So this is the final report and right now we have the vendor vendors information however we have not received any responses from the vendors yet. All right, so it's uh, repeating the activity of uh, looking for responses from the vendors. So now here we can see we have received a couple of responses. So the bot is the bot is uh, extracting the response from each vendors in the list, and we can see this vendor has not responded yet. All right, so now let's check what the report says. So, uh, so the response that was extracted by the bot should be here now. So, right. So here we can see uh, we have uh, responses from two vendors and the third vendor has not responded yet. So now we have uh, achieved our goal for this uh, demonstration. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy automation!